Alright guys, welcome back to this channel and today we're gonna be doing something different, okay? We are gonna be, after a long time, playing Roblox, but I decided to play Roblox Islands. If you haven't heard of this game, which I'm pretty sure everyone that plays Roblox have heard of this game or play this game, it's basically a skyblock game. Something like a Minecraft, but kind of better in my opinion because you have machines and stuff, automatic farms. So, um, so yeah, I decided to make kind of start um, start series from this game. I do did not want to start a new profile because the stars stars of this game are quite annoying you literally only mine and pretty much do quite nothing and it's quite annoying at the beginning so i decided to use this save where i already have some stuff but it's nothing too big so we still have a lot of things to do trust me so to give you a bit quick tour of this um island so we have here a building that was that was supposed to be used for animals, right? It's still used for animals, but it's kind of uh, well, it's kind of not working <laughs> more than working because uh, I wanted to have them locked up here, so I had like doors here. But every time I put doors there, uh, then I they either somehow glitch through the uh, somehow glitch through the door and got outside. I don't know how, or somehow s keep glitching inside and end up ended up on the roof. I have no idea how that happened, but uh, I guess I guess. So I just let them run around here in the end. I mean, they don't really do anything. They don't go into the industrial zone or something. They are staying there because they have the food there and stuff. So this is my farm, which I've most of the times you may think it's too big, but it is kind of big. But yeah, I used it on tomatoes and onions. <laughs> onions quite more as you can see on potatoes not that much tomatoes not potatoes i keep somehow switching them uh potatoes are my most favorite food in real life so i want to have full farm of them in game so that's pretty cool we only have dc as many seeds we can buy more but why right we don't really need the potatoes that much so um that's that's my farm we can also quickly we have a bunny wait a minute can i catch it or not we can nice all right let's collect these avocados avocados okay there's only two? Wow. We collect. Oh, wait, no, we collected that one. Collecting these from trees is quite annoying. They added a new update like a few days ago, and that update is great. It's called Factory Update, I'm pretty sure. And basically, what it adds is. Okay, we need. Right, we can't see it because we need Workbench Tier 4. But it adds some new machines, and one of the machines is called tree fruit shaker and what it basically already by the name you should know basically when you put it somewhere near a tree it will shake the tree and collect the fruit from it i never tried it yet so i don't know how it how exactly it works but basically it collects the fruit from the trees for you which is in my opinion a great thing um, now you may be wondering why I have these iron totems here when I have a factory here is because 
mm, you get Chris you there's a chance you can get a crystallized iron from mining these iron ores which crystallized iron e is used for crafting some machines and also is quite expensive so you can sell it for to play to other players for like 1.8 million so it's quite cool it's not that much so I'm gonna g g give you a quick story before I continue my tour so I didn't I last time I played this game was in 2021 right I then took a break and I pretty much was at the end game of this game and that now like a week ago I came back to this game I created a new save deleted the old one for some reason and now we are here right so many things have changed since then and I remember the last time in the time when it was still 2021 um, basically what you can do is you these industrial smelters which you need for making factories is either you can either grind for them which is quite annoying to be honest and quite takes a long time or you can buy them from other people because if you're going to explore online then you have mega or oh, this is this one is my f most favorite to be honest you have basically all of these shops here and you can buy stuff there and I remember when I, it was still 2021 that when I was trying to buy an industrial smeller from one of these shops it cost you know how much 2.5 million around that price 2.5 million that was a lot of money before <laughs> but guess what the the inflation hit roblox islands and now the current average price of the industrial smelter guess what 45 million <laughs> i mean that's fucking insane from 2.5 million to 45 million yes 45 million not 4.5 45 million that's how the inflation is crazy like and everything is more expensive like it's quite crazy and but it also true is that you can also get more money easily because everything you sell to players is ex more expensive so you get more money but still i when i first like when I first arrived to, when I started playing Islands again after the long break and I got 7 million, then I was happy that, oh my god, I can get so many sm industrial smelters from that. Then I looked at the price and went like, I'm rage quitting. <laughs> yeah, basically, I didn't know what to do, but I managed up to... Yeah, you can get 45 million pretty easily because you can just farm like 30 minutes on the slime island, get few sticky gears, and boom, you have it, right? So I managed to get just one. And another dumb mistake I d was doing before in 2021. You know these uh, steel farms, right? So basically, I had one steel meal for, I mean, one industrial smelter for one steel meal. Steel mill. Am I saying it correctly? Whatever. Basically, for one of these steel mills. And uh, now I realize I had three smelters, right? One here, one on the other line, and the other one. And each of these one smelters had only one steel mill. Now here's the thing, I had one smelter and one steel mill, and I had like three of these rows there. And now I realized 
I was being stupid because you can connect up to how many you want steel mills to one for one smelter. Right now I have only two as you can see. Basically what it does, here these iron totems and coal totems go into the smelter, it smelts. Most of you guys know what it does. I'm just I'm just saying real quick what it does for those who don't don't, don't know. It smells the iron, it goes into this thing, which is a, called a randomizer. This is an input, and it has two outputs. And basically, when it gets into the mm, into this randomizer, it chooses one of these two exits, and it will come out that way. So, mm, it kind of splits. It's kind of like a splitter, right? So, it's either going into this steel mill, or this steel mill. So that's what I was doing wrong all the time over there. I can I could use the smelters for something else. But no, I was doing this. <laughs> so I fixed the mistake. Oh my god, it's already full. And yeah, so now I fix it. I want I plan to doing more because you can see the iron is keep getting stuck here, which means the steel mills just don't don't catch up right they they are slow they can only because the smelter can smell three iron ores at once and the steel mill can only convert one s one ironing at per time so i want to do probably one or two more to this probably just one more because it makes it will make more sense right three here and three steel mills it's kind of like that the problem with this randomizer, it only goes like this, so you can't place it like, so you can't add one more, one more output over here. That would be cooler. So I have to like remove this steel mill, add another randomizer here, and then get steel mill there and there, right? So I have to do it like complicated like that, but it's fine. The reason why you want, you may be wondering why, ya, why am I ni why? Am I just having so much steel? Or like, why do I need so much steel? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, if you don't know, to get more stuff, for example, I need uh, copper, uh, copper press, right? Or steel press, it doesn't matter. Here, steel press or s copper press, it doesn't really matter. I kind of want, well, both, I need both. But this one is the first one you're gonna get. Well, you need copper plates. Well, let's just see this one. Steel rods, those are fine. Copper ingots, those are fine. So we can get the copper press. But for the steel press, here you'll start seeing things. Copper plate, copper rod. You can't craft those. Red bronze refinery, steel plates, can't craft. Copper rods can't craft, so you'll see where we where the problem starts to run, um, and we don't even have all the machines unlocked. We need workbench tier four to unlock the rest of the industrial thingies. But here are the most important ones, of course. But yeah, yeah, that's that's it. And those plates, and so basically, you have right rods, plates, and bolts. Those are the three industrial materials that are going to be important. And the w you can get steel rods. Steel rods are craftable. You can get those over here. Copper rods, copper rods aren't craftable. Now the way you get copper, or, or copper rods is this way. You have these factory molds. Those, these ones are put into the uh, presses, like the copper press, steel press, and it will get like 25 steel and convert it into a rod, for example, or copper. It doesn't matter. I d I'm pretty sure it's 25, I'm, but I don't know. It could have changed. But here's where the problem starts. Yeah, that's why I need so much steel. 2.5 thousand steel ingots to get this factory rod. It's permanent, it doesn't break, it 
so it's still fine. Here, bold factory mode, the same way, 1000. And here, the most expensive one, plate factory mode, boom, 5000 steel ingots. Now you see why I want so much steel. <laughs> now you see it. So basically, yeah, and also you need steel for the steel rods, which are quite expensive on steel, let's be honest. Because from steel rods, you craft conveyors, and those are very important on farms. So, yeah, that's why I want so much steel. Not, not that I want, okay, I also want steel, but I also need them. Also, we can craft this. This is why we need crystallized iron. Crystallized iron over here. Then I'm pretty sure on this food processor you need. Never mind, you need crystallized gold. That's even worse to get. Because you see these crystallized... Uh, you see these iron ores? Ha! <laughs> Those are from iron totems. But in this game, gold totems do not exist. <laughs> so the only way to get gold is... The only way to get gold is either the Bufalcor Islands, where gold m gold or spawn. Although pretty rare, although it has quite low chance to spawn, like twenty percent or ten. Or if you want to have an automated gold farm, you can do this. <laughs> Basically, it's really slow though. It's like one gold or per five minutes or something. So it's quite. I have another one prepared over there, but I don't have a drill, which I can craft right now. So basically, gold, crystallized gold is quite bad to get and annoying. So let's craft this already. Uh, let's craft a few conveyor belts. Let's craft like five. Uh, what I wanted to do is also... Okay, I need oak planks. I need oak planks. Basically, we need the two chests because the steel farm is most of the times full and we need to fix that. Sorry, avocado trees, but I need to cut you down. So, I'll do that real quick. So, we need more storage for the... For the steel farms, right? That way I can AFK for longer and get more steel. So, we're gonna get more storage. Oops, I'm sorry guys, I did not want to do that. Alright, uh, let's refill their food as well, because they are pretty hungry, I guess, maybe. Yep, they are empty. Yeah, I got this turkey from uh where i can spook it oh <laughs> that's cute i got this turkey from maple island treasure chest it's a legendary item uh, item yes but yeah the item was turkey spawn egg that is a legendary item i don't know if you can buy turkey spawn eggs probably not because i was checking the shop and you can there was no turkey spawn egg so yeah i'm out of wheat oh god that's not good i'm out of wheat i mean i have my automated wheat farm here but it doesn't produce that much oh ne <laughs> never mind i'm sorry okay we got we now got wheat no problem uh i forgot what i wanted to do now mm. also here's our block factory this is just a simple factory that, well not even a factory, a simple farm that is really easy. It's full already. I should have added one more. Okay, I know what I wanted to do now. So let's collect these. This is based stone. I only have it for blocks because you can see I build a lot. Uh, I'm gonna collect you. Not not like that. Come here. I saw another one. No, I saw a frog here. So come here. Nice. 
Nice. We got wild rabbit and normal rabbit. Uh, brown rabbit. Yeah. So, uh, right. Let's get the planks. And then we'll see. We don't have coal. Okay, that's. Do we have a coal though, then? We do have two of them. Uh, I guess we. Do we really need that much coal though? I don't think we need coal because we'll ha soon have these. Can I maybe take it? No, okay, I can't take it out of that. Maybe out of here? Okay, never. It's barely. It's barely powering the steel mills, to be honest. But it's working non stop, so it's fine. <laughs> I could add one more to each. Okay, you know what? Let's do it. Why not? Let's add one more to each. Uh. It's not like we don't have enough money to buy another one. Alright, uh, we should actually. Do we have more? Okay, no. We need pine wood, right? I want this already. Crystallized iron for this. Okay. How many planks do we have? 50. Exactly 50. Nice. So, if we... Uh, let me quickly do this. A medium chest. And an input output chest. I'm gonna make it over here real quick. Or actually over here, because this is gonna be final, I don't want to... Because we can add one more steel mill to this, right? Uh, I mean, we can add m way more, but then it wouldn't be... Then we wouldn't have enough iron for all of that. Uh, you are kind of in a way, sir. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna use this right conveyor belt, that's fine. And straight... Okay, <laughs> not that way straight into this chest so basically this chest can only hold each slot can only hold five as you can see as you could saw but the here uh, this input output chest each slot can hold 30 which is way more of course so that's why and once this chest is full it will come out this way into here it will keep it in here it will keep the chest full but the uh, more iron will just go straight through into this chest, which is final. And we can keep adding this input output chest if we wanted to, but yeah, I don't think we need that many. So let's get another one for the other side. Actually, no, actually, I know what we should get. Oh no, this stupid glitch is annoying me. I can't do anything. It's just on my screen and I can't do anything. Oh my god. Hold on, maybe this will fix it. If I go back to lobby and back. No, okay, no, I just gotta rejoin this fucking stupid game because... Oh my god, wait here. Alright. I am back. Finally fixed it. So... I forgot what I wanted to do again. Here's the input output chest. So, let's make that. Boom, medium chest, input output chest. Nice. Alright, let's make it. Uh, mm. Actually, what we could have done is another steel mill. Actually, right now, I feel like that could be a good idea. All right, but we need for that we need lots of conveyors. Let's craft five. Uh, we need a bit more gold, twenty more. That's fine. We'll mind that. Let's get five more conveyor belts. Uh, because we have twenty-eight. Uh. 36 I guess 36 so we need 14 more okay 
We should make a portal there because walking there from we have to go through the hub, through the slime island. But for that we need I think some portal shards, I'm pretty sure. Uh can I sell something to you? Oh. Really nothing. I mean one thousand when I have ten million, come on. Okay, maybe we'll get lucky and could get a pink sticky gear from this guy. I mean, I wouldn't be... I don't want to explain how to get everything. If you want, if you have any questions, just, just ask either in, in my Discord server or in, in the comments. And I'll answer it because I don't want to explain everything. It would take so long. It would take so much. Uh, let's quickly kill you, see if we get anything. Come on. Yeah, I need to level up my magic. I got this spell book recently, like one day ago. I bought this for like 12 million, which was kind of cheap to be honest. Hey. Blue sticky gear, okay, nothing. Alright, 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 alright. So, let's head to the buffalo crane. Right? Okay, what are my skills? Uh, what does magic do anyways? Okay, m damage. Title spell book. Spirit spell book, nice. Here's where you get gold. We need 14 more, right? So we need to have 22 golden ores. Uh, if we okay, there's one gold ore. There's another. I saw one more down there, so it's fine. Yeah, you get quite a lot gold from it. Yeah, three, six. Yeah, that's good. That's cool. How many I said again? Twenty two or twenty four? Twenty two, right? I mean, we'll g even if we get like two less, we have our gold farm on our island, so we can get some the rest there well we'll have enough yeah all right let's head back let's smelt the gold to get 13 over here 13 over here sixteen yeah nice it's working and efficiently. Wait, we have only. T why? Why do we have rest in our inventory? Oh, I put only one there, not all of them. All right. Mm. We need another randomizer for that, right? So if we, how do you make it again? Randomizer, crystallized iron. Are you joking? I just crafted a drill. I do not need crystal. <laughs> oh my god. Please give me luck and give me crystallized iron. I don't wanna spend here 30 minutes just mining iron ore for one cr stupid crystallized iron. No, I'll actually have to. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Well. I guess I'll have to AFK here for a bit. Well, uh, I'm gonna AFK here for a bit. Um, I'll see you. That's gonna be the last thing I did because we're already recording for like 30 minutes. I don't know. So I'm gonna AFK here. I don't want you to wait with me. The gold will smell the meanwhile and I'll see you once. I get the crystallized iron, I guess. Alright guys, so mm, I've decided to leave that thing, uh, leave the expanding for this farm to the n another video because I've been mining for like 10 minutes and nothing. And we, like I said, we've been already recording for quite a while so uh, I think we'll leave it here and take care of the rest in the next video because... Once we finish this, it's gonna get boring soon anyways, so we just have to keep working on something to keep us entertained, otherwise we'll just, ha we'll just have to be AFK here. 
So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, like and subscribe. And if you like, I said, if you want to, if you want me to start all over again without trading. Oh wait, I haven't told you that yet. Now I've realized it. So I have a, I think I haven't told you yet. I don't know. Uh, uh. So basically, I have a chance. I have an opportunity for you. I tried, if you look into my profiles, you can see that I have a hardcore wall here. Now, hardcore means that you can't trade with other people and some other rules. Um, now, I thought it would be a good idea to play that because I thought I'm gonna have one save where I just won't trade with other people and grind it. That way I like hard work, right? And because grinding is fun and but then i realized first of all you can't have uh hardcore uh, saves on private servers you c it can be only on public server which is kind of annoying because on public servers if you want to go to the hub through the portal it takes like f 10 seconds to load you into the hub same goes when you're teleporting back on private island, on private server, if you just go through the portal, you just boom. You're just there instantly. <coughs> now, also annoying thing about hardcore is that at night, crop eaters spawn at your island, which by the name, they basically eat your crops. You don't even get the seeds back, nothing. They just eat it. And that's quite annoying. Not even torches will help. Nothing. They just spawn. So it's quite annoying. So I thought, like, if you guys want to, we can create a new normal profile like this one. But we won't trade with other people and we'll grind it normally. That way we can uh, have be no on normal ser on a normal save. That way we don't have to worry about the crop eaters and we can be on private server. You get the point. So basically, that's what I wanted to give you the opportunity, but that's only if you want to. If not, we're gonna continue on this. Of course, if we're gonna get the new save, we might still continue working on this, but I doubt it. So yeah, that's it. So if you guys enjoy, like and subscribe. Uh, join the Discord server and tell me if you want the uh, new save or not. I think most of you will say no because why, right? But if you guys want me to grind for it, which is probably more like a stream thing, not recording video thing, then yeah, I might stream, but I'll think about it. So for now, we're just gonna record videos. So if you want me to get a new save and grind for it myself without buying, because this smelter i bought it right i bought it from other people not the steel mills though all of all of these things are hard earned except for the um, st smelter so and that one radish in the <laughs> farm so yeah like and subscribe and i'll see you next time